One of the problems with your biggest customers is not only do they demand the lowest price, but they also demand the most services. In this video, Dan Poland, a partner in the Florida CFO Group, explains how to figure out if you are losing money on your biggest customers. Dan, how is it possible that a business could be losing money on its biggest customer? One of the problems with your biggest customers is not only do they demand the lowest price, but they also demand the most services. So you're doing extra engineering, you're doing extra inventory, you're doing extra deliveries or cheaper deliveries. So when you look at it, it's you have to include all of the things you're doing. It might be blue dollars as dollars you're keeping in someplace else in overhead that are really attributable to that customer. So you need to account for those as well. A perfect example is we had a major carpet client in the polypropylene business, in the plastics business. They controlled a lot of part of the market in the Midwest and in the Northeast. They're coming back to us not only asking for lower rates, shorten our lead times, increase the number of scrolls or, or rolls that we have available for them. Now, when you're working on a pricing, your salespeople are going, oh no, look at this great price and they're X percent of our market. But you're taking all the costs out from developing that, you're putting in that, you're lowering your margin, and you're also tying yourself up to one, one client and when that client comes back to you and says you do this or else, you really have very little to do because you've cut into your own margin to get it there and you're actually losing on them because if you look in your inventory and you look in your warehouse, you see all these tagged X carpet supplier, X carpet supplier. So just be very careful of that and that, that did happen to us. How do you determine if your largest customer is profitable or not? When I go into a new client, and you're looking through how does the clients, are the clients really profitable? It's not just the P&Ls and the balance sheets that you're, you need to look at. You need to make sure that's all accounted for. We need to go out and talk to the labs and the tech guys and the operation guys because they're the ones who are doing things specific for that customer that we need to bring into that, that cost comparison and understand it. So we can go back when the salesmen come to us as they have in the past and say, I've got this great deal for you. You're including all the costs in there, and if it's a good business deal, it is, but all the costs are now included, so your customer is not costing you a lot. Dan, how does capacity affect your decision on whether or not to keep an unprofitable customer? Part of this discussion is understanding your costs. They're not always just black and white plugging the numbers. Some of them are step costs, some of them are pure variable, and some are fixed. If your rent's not going to really change over capacity issue, you're going to pick up a customer. So when you look at this, you really need to understand what you're talking about. Sometimes we as accountants also need to involve operational people if we're not sure capacity issues or, or what they are. In the medical industry, which is much more comfortable for me, capacity is a big constraint but the costs are pretty straightforward. The patient walks in that front door, you know about what it's gonna to cost you and where you can negotiate a contract. So you need to think about understanding those costs that are not purely just black and white. Do you think customer profitability is an issue from the start of a relationship? What do you think it erodes over time? One of the things we have to be careful of as we're analyzing these customers is there's creep. And it looks really good to say that I've got a million dollar order from a big box store, but then you creep into realizing you've developed all these apartments, these departments inside your organization that are specifically for that big box store, and yet it's overhead. So when you're looking at it, please just be careful of that, and we're very cognizant of it. I've fallen into it myself, for example, because I love, all of us love to see that million dollar, two million dollar order but then you're inventorying it, you're doing special things, you have X number of head counts that are really associated with that. So that's one of the things that we also have to be cognizant of in comparing our, our customers' profitability to us. Dan, what are your final thoughts on losing money on your biggest customers? There's always trade-offs. You need to look at all the positives and negatives when you're making a decision, whether that customer is truly losing you money 
or right now they're just covering your overhead. So we need to consider that as we talk about it. We and our teams are the representatives that place final costs and put this information together to provide with all the operating people. We have to be sure that we have those spots allocated, we understand what those variables are, and be able to stand in front of the CEO or the board if we're making a recommendation and have facts and figures that support it and know that's facts because that's what we're there for. We are there team to support them and we need to be the ones that are experts.